To start using Cloudberry Backup with Windows Azure, you must have a Microsoft account and have to be signed up for Windows Azure. You can sign up and get a 3 month trial on the windowsazure.com. Click on the Try it Free button and on the new page click on it again. Now you need to sign in into a Microsoft account. If you don't have it yet, click on the Sign up now here. After that you will need to fill in a registration form. You will need to be prepared to give your contact information and get through the account verification. Enter your mobile phone number and use the verification code that you received in the text message or phone call to verify your account. But I already have my account, so I enter my email and password and click on the sign in button. When you get into Windows Azure control panel for the first time, you will need to provide your credit card information, even if you want to use your 3 months free trial. I already did it, so I close this window and click on the portal button. Now choose storage in the left menu and click on the create a storage account. Here you need to specify the name of your storage in the URL field and choose the location of the storage. After that click on the create storage account. It may take some time to make your storage active. Usually it takes no longer than 5 minutes. After the status turns to online you are ready to use your storage. And now we need to get the access keys. Click on the Manage Keys button at the bottom of the page and here are our keys. To set up Windows Azure storage account in the Cloudberry Backup, you will need your storage account name and your primary access key. Let's go to the Cloudberry Backup, go to the File menu and select Azure storage account. In the opened window click on the Add button. Now enter display name, it can be whatever you want and your storage account name in the account field and your primary access key in the shared key field. After you correctly enter your keys, you will be able to create a new container or select one of the existing containers. I have no one, so I create a new container. Type here container name, select access control type and click OK. And now we are ready to backup our data to Windows Azure and can select our Windows Azure account in the Backup Plan Wizard. You can get your 15-day trial version of Cloudberry Backup Server Edition at cloudberrylab.com server.